everyone we're back sorry the camera's kind of dark just because of the sun but i'm going to do a ceramic coating using avalon xl on this truck i haven't done it i've so for i don't know if, i don't think you have has i don't think i've ever told you guys i've been starting to do um paint correction business kind of so kind of i'm going to show you through the process of what i'm doing but this is the first time i do uh ceramic coating excuse me and i have never done ceramic coating so i'm kind of a little nervous but i heard it's pretty easy so and i did my i did this uh my paint correction last year and it came out good but i've gone a lot better since last year so i'll show you what i do and the process of doing the ceramic coating so yeah we'll see what happens so this is kind of like what i mainly use when i do it um so first thing we're gonna do is wash it and since we're doing um a full ceramic coating this is what's best because it actually removes all the wax and sealants so that the ceramic coating can cling on better it doesn't already have wax on and stuff so that's what we're going to use in this foam cannon and after that we usually iron decon it with this it works very well and after that what we usually do is um clay bar this is the one i always use it's always super nice and you can actually use the actual clay bar stuff this is a kind of a clay bar like like applicator more yeah it works really good i've never had any issues and after that i will get my dewalt rotary and use my wool pad this one i use mainly for like metal stuff so that's kind of why it's kind of dark and this one i actually use for the paint super nice it cuts very fast so you gotta watch out for that and after that i use my foam this is like a little it's like for my polishing right here and then this is for like more sealants and waxes because it's super soft after that it's done but for now all we're gonna do is use this one and then my polishing pad and i usually do 3d products which i used to do chemical guys a lot which i didn't have a problem with they just i just was trying this out and actually just felt like it works better and so i use this for the compounds and this is the polish and this is the sealant and if depending on what my customer wants i can either do that or i just use some regular mcguire's wax on there it's in that gold tin so seal lasts a lot longer but after that so anyways we're not going to do the seal or wax we're actually going to use these two and then we're going to use this avalon king which i've had for a long time I'm just kind of nervous and I have a truck show going on next week so i'm gonna try this so we'll see what happens okay so right now we just did that clean so <clears throat> what i've just learned to do is just foam it rinse it off and then foam it and then hand wash it because it actually gets all the stuff off of it so i'm letting it sit for a minute that's kind of why it's kind of coming off now but don't let it dry so i'm just showing you real quick so i got done washing like 20 times so everything is rinsed off everything's clean so now we're doing the iron decon and as you can tell it's already working right there the thing is don't let this thing dry but you can see let's see so you see that orange spot right there watch so in a minute it will turn into these purple things see it's already doing it right there so all it is is sucking out all the iron which i had a ton of from the winter here in idaho so you want to so you got iron right there and there and everywhere so clean everything off this is the last step and then until we move to clay barring it so and then we'll wash it off here in a second just don't let it dry okay so now it's all clean actually this that um the iron decon decon decontamination is the correct wording it looks a br like way brighter and you can kind of tell like it's paints pretty good because i did it last year and the crazy thing is i did it last june and now it's june again so it's been a whole entire year since i've done this and it's still smooth and everything so i'm gonna do it just cut it and then a little bit not too crazy because it's already pretty clean and then polish it and then we'll wax and degrease it but uh 
paint's pretty good still, so there's some things I missed the first time because it's my first job, first time doing it, and so we'll get those fixed. You need for this step though is just uh, all you're gonna do is just pick a panel, you know, spray it down a little bit, then you're gonna get this, and it's already pretty smooth already, but go back a couple times. I'm just kind of showing you this example, so it's not just go a little, a little harder. Well, not harder, but just let it glide. Cause I can already tell it's like smooth already. So do that and then you get your rag and then wipe it off. And even just doing that, it's like, you can't even hear anything. So. Yeah, and then after that, just do the whole truck and then we'll start cutting. So, a kind of a tip and trick I learned doing this for so long, well, not that long, but is I usually get all of the black um, trim and stuff and I grease it down with the, uh, I use this, but just some trim, like restored stuff like that. If you accidentally get this, this stuff on or some, like the chemical guys would kind of stain it a little bit like it's like right here you can kind of i don't know you can't kind of see it on camera but it would really stain it like pretty good so i would tape it and the tape sucky part is the tape wouldn't really stick you have to get like some pretty like adhesive tape to i don't know what the auto body people use i need to i need to figure that out but because it i tr have a roll of uh just painter's tape and it sticks to everything it sticks to this sticks to anything but for some reason the plastic it doesn't want to stick to so i started using it but i get really close to it and i kind of like have this little technique i guess you can use i don't know but i just get really close to it as close as i can without actually hitting it but this stuff actually doesn't really it, it i just still try to be careful with it but it really doesn't like stain it like i hurry up and wipe it off or if I actually get it on one of the pieces, because that's the nice thing with um, with uh, color match vehicles, I don't have to really worry about it, because there's a lot, a lot of cars that will have tr black trim everywhere, and this stuff, like the Meguiar's uh, trim restorer, actually like looks really good. It gets it really nice, but I just kind of keep greasing it on or whatever you want to say, lathering it on, and it works awesome. So. But here we go, we're gonna start using some of the, my compound and get some of those little scratches out. Okay, so I got everything done except for the passenger side. I've gotten the tailgate, the hood, so it's just literally, so I'm just kind of, I'm just showing you. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, so <laughs> just real quick. Um, hardest part's always the front, the hood, because it's so huge. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep going and then we'll get the polishing on. Okay guys, so I've gotten the whole, basically the whole truck's done polishing with my dual action, my DA. So, as the people call it. So everything's polished, looks pretty good. It's obviously dense and whatever. Scratches I can't get out like, like that. Pretty much, so. Other than that, it looks like glass. Pretty cool. But anyways, I'm doing that right now with my polishing pad and then my 3D speed. Looks way good. Then we're gonna wax and degrease it and then, cam, then ceramic coat it, almost like chemical. Anyways, yeah, so on to the next thing. All right, so we're back. I'm done now uh, polishing and everything. It literally is so smooth. It looks perfect. Looks good. So now we're ready to coat. And yeah, it looks pretty clean. So we're gonna coat it for the first time. Wish me luck. Here's all the stuff you get in the little box. I have two boxes. They say for a truck this size you need two. So we'll see what's this. So we'll see if we have enough. Here's the gloves. Here's the top box. Here's the bottom box. Here is the rag. You're supposed to put it in here and kind of wrap it around here and then just go like, you know, do that kind of thing. Here's your microfiber. And then, but I'm actually gonna use it with these Adams Polish um, suede applicators. I heard they're 
better a little bit and sticker and the actual stuff so here's the instructions if you need to read it sorry i'm kind of sick or something or allergies so yeah we're gonna put it like that on the applicator But we're gonna actually wipe it down with some wax degreaser, so gotta do that real quick. But yeah, should be fun. Okay, so I've done the hood, the bumper, driver's side fender, driver door, and now I'm doing the passenger door. So I just did it. Let it cure for about 45 seconds. Once you see kind of flash. And then, sorry, my freaking nose is like going crazy. So it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but basically we'll make a little bit of a line. And then you just kind of do a panel. So like on this where it's a, like a, just a little longer, I'll probably only go half. Come back, go down. Go down. But yeah, you just kind of do that and then you go up and down and stuff. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Hope that way you get full coverage. But yeah, that's what you do the whole entire truck. I left it in my shop or shop for 40 hours and I come back out. The first day it's out, run into a construction site and now it's pouring. But it's kind of a good way to show you the beating action compared to not beating action sheet. It kind of sheets on the paint compared to this. But I'll show you some videos I took of it before it started raining. It looks like a brand new paint job. It's super bright. But it wasn't that bad as scared as I thought it was going to be. It's pretty easy. It's just a long prep service uh, to get it all clean and everything. And after that, it's pretty easy. You just got to make sure you watch that uh, hazing. And yeah, it's not bad. But it sucks because uh, it's raining. And it says I shouldn't have washed, my, washed the vehicle for seven days. Five to seven days. And yeah, hopefully it's okay. We'll see.